Hello world, welcome to the channel. I'm Sourcecoot and today I'm going to show you five things you can do with the A-Frame Inspector. So let's head over to an A-Frame scene and we'll have a look at what we can do. In this simple scene I've loaded a car and we need to switch to the Inspector. To open that up we hit Ctrl Alt I on the keyboard and we switch to the Inspector window. The first thing I want to show you are the shortcuts. If you hit H on your keyboard, you get a list of all the keys you can press to do different things inside the inspector and work a little bit faster than using the mouse. For example, you could switch to side views, top views, back to the regular perspective view. If you want to move things around, you can use E or R to scale or just back to W to move things around. So number two on our list, I want to show you how you can modify things within the A-Frame Inspector. As I showed you before, you can move things around, but you can also, for example, change materials. So I've got three materials here. I can select another one, so these are added as assets. But you can also um, load new texture, textures. I know this one is on the server, so I can load this texture now we have this one and we get another material so this way you can really customize everything and all properties of your scene for the third item on the list i'm going to show you that you can also add new things to your scene so if we hit this plus sign you start with an empty entity now we could add uh, geometry or uh, we could do a lot of different things we can select object model and now we can add a new model if the model is available on the server. So if I paste the name of a model in here, you can immediately, immediately see that there is a big model in the sky. And I know it should be scaled down a bit. So if we scale this down, we can move this around. So we place it next to the existing car. Now there's still a material missing. So we need to add another component to this entity, which is a material. And we've already seen that we can select materials, so we can just pick one. And now we have created a new object to our scene. For number four on my list, I want to show you how you can save your scene. So now we have created a very cool looking scene and we don't want to lose it. What we can do is either Click here on GLTF and select or download the entire scene as a um, binary file containing the scene. We can also select, for example, a car if we have really customized this model. And then on top here, we say export to GLTF and it downloads this entity. So for number five on the list, I want to show you something really, really cool. When you are working on your scenes, you often are moving things around and changing things as i showed earlier for example with the material now say we move this car to uh, another position and we rotate the car like like 45 degrees so now when the scene opens uh, we look at the side of the car instead of at the front and it's a bit more up close now i do want to have that other material let's pick this one and now I want to save these changes back to my scene and we can do that in a couple of ways there is um, this button here copy the entire html or copy the properties to the clipboard and that we need to paste back into our scene which kind of works it's not ideal but it works there is however a better way of doing this so if we switch over to vs code and i run the a frame watcher i will leave a link in the description below um to this tool it's in separate download you need to install but i think it's just an npm package now this tool is watching for messages coming from the inspector so now we go back to the scene and we hit save up here this will communicate to the watcher and says well this is what you have changed would you like me to update your file now keep an eye on the index as i say yes and there we go the file is updated automatically there is one catch the entity has to have an id for this to work but if it does it's really really helpful 
So that's it for today's list. Hopefully it's helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.